Hey y'all, welcome back to Christine's World Spice. So today I am partnering with Swiss. They send me these eight ounces, six cool assorted colors, porcelain ramekin dishes. So let's get straight into this opening. And also I do want to add that these dishes you can purchase on Amazon for $19.99. And I will leave the link in my description box below. This is perfect for like, if you're on a weight loss journey, you want to eat smaller. These small proportions are just perfect. Just perfect. And I needed this because I, me personally, am trying to do a weight loss journey because I know I need it. So I'm opening the box. I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and see what is inside. But these bowls are not as big, 
So you want them to be able to fit. So you can add all the other ingredients to it. So I'm going to add three tablespoons of grits. After adding your grits, I'm going to do my sausage. Now, if you have the round sausage, that will be the best fit for these bowls. The round sausage is perfect. I have these long sausages, so this is what I'm going to work with. And I don't want the sleeve in it because I feel like that it's going to take forever for it to cook inside the oven. Well, our gallons microwave. We're not going to use the microwave, though. We're actually going to use the bake. You can use bake or air fryer. I feel like the air fryer would do better than that. So what I'm going to do is pull the sausages out and put them in the bowl. Now, if you're using your air fryer, you do not need to take the sausages out of the sleeve. You can just put it on your air fryer, air fryer plate and put it in your air fryer, put it on air fryer, click start, and then hit five minutes three times. That's 15 minutes. You want to make sure your sausages cook right. Now, if 15 minutes is kind of too much, just check on it every five minutes. But me, I'm doing it the hard way, and I just realized I could have did it that way. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in a bowl, and I'm going to cook my grits first. And I'm just going to put it in the microwave. I'm going to click five minutes. I'm actually cooking it for five minutes, but it only took three minutes to cook. So you don't need to cook it long. So cook your grits for about two to three minutes. Just check on it or it's gonna spill all inside your microwave. Next, I'm going to cook my sausage and I'm gonna cook it on bake. Like I said, it's best to use your air fryer piece. Don't use, don't do what I just did because it's gonna take forever. If you do your air fryer piece, it, your sausage might even be done in about 10 minutes, probably more faster than that. Now I'm doing another bowl for my shrimp and grits. Now, if you wanted to, you can add your shrimp because my shrimp was frozen. You can add it with your sausage like five minutes in after your sausage is cooking. Then add your shrimp. That way it could be nice and unthawed. I'm cooking my grits the same amount of time that I cooked the other grits. Just two to three minutes. Now this is how my sausage came out and I had it in there for about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to add some black pepper to it. All you need is just a pinch of black pepper. You don't need a much. Now I originally was going to add some cheese to it but it wouldn't fit because I just piled the bowl up with so much grit. So I'm just going to add the sausage and try to push it down as much as possible. I'm not putting salt in here because the sausage already has enough salt. And then I added some butter. So I'm not really a salt person, so I'm not gonna add the salt. And then I'm gonna crack an egg. An egg has natural salt too, so you don't really need all that salt. We're gonna crack the egg on that, add the shrimp on the other bowl, and crack an egg on that one. My egg didn't form right on my shrimp, bowl but it's okay Now that we have our bowls ready, we're going to add them to our air fryer. Now this time I'm just doing the air fryer 
and I'm going to do it on 400 degrees for 10 minutes and it literally took 10 minutes to cook the egg so once that is done your food is ready and I'm going to do some garnishes for the top I will be cutting some green onions up very finely that way it's not too big Since we didn't have enough room for the sandwich cheese, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top. Can't go wrong with that. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper, just a pinch. And we'll sprinkle our green onions on top as well. So this is the end of our presentation. I added a few little oranges on the side as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe for my gallons people out there who need some recipes for your gallons microwave air fryer this is definitely something that you can do if you're a truck driver you're at home you don't really use the oven this is a great breakfast recipe and stay tuned i do have a flan recipe that i will be uploading today as well and i'll have some more recipes that way you can do like lunch and dinner recipes for maybe children and things like that i also want to try a roast or a meatloaf inside of the air fryer i think i did that before i don't know but i want to try like a turkey one a ground turkey or even some ribs in there so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out the link in my description box below if you want to purchase these ramekins like i said they're really great buy and you can just create so many interesting dishes with them so go ahead and check the link out down in the description box below. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Please check out the next one that will be coming out soon too today. All right. Thanks y'all. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.